I'm Bob Harris, president of the Decorative Concrete Institute. Frequently, we use specialty tools for a variety of decorative concrete applications. An example of this would be the use of a Dremel tool. Now, a Dremel is a high-performance tool. Basically, it spins, and depending on the attachment that you put into it, in this case, we're using a diamond-tipped attachment, uh, you can really create some detailed graphics. There's a couple of uh, ways that we use this tool. Number one, if you have a decorative saw cut that you've used either with the mongoose, the crackback, or a four-inch grinder, grinder for that matter, it's difficult to terminate the saw cut right up against the baseboard or against the wall without the blade hitting the wall. So one way to use this tool is to terminate the saw cut uh, and go right up against the wall to, to uh, terminate that saw cut. So it's very effective that way. But I would say the predominant use of this tool for us in our applications is by using diamond tips, a variety of different sizes, and we'll be able to come in and really create some very detailed graphics. Now, I wouldn't want to try and cut straight lines with this tool. You'd want to use one of the other traditional grinders or crackbacks or mongooses for that because inevitably, when you're uh, going along trying to create a straight line, um, it'll hit a piece of sand or aggregate in the mix of the concrete and it'll flip over to the side. So it's not really great for cutting long lines, but it is very, very great for, um, or good for using it for detailed areas. The way the tool works, it has a locked position right here and the uh, collet basically threads off and you can see here we've got a diamond tip it simply just goes back in there you screw it down and then what you do is you lose a little wrench to tighten this area and it, the tips come in a variety of shapes and sizes they range from very narrow uh, sixteenth of an inch to uh, pointed tips and as you can see even some cutting wheels so it's a very useful tool in addition to this tool there are some other attachments. It just simply gives the, uh, the technician a higher degree of control. And it just screws into here. And basically now what we've done is we've just extended it is all we've done. So you can really get in and create some very specific graphics using this tool. From there, this is a tool that I use quite a bit. And this is called the WASP. Now this tool is in fact a high performance tool. It's air driven. And what that means is you need an air compressor that's capable of somewhere in the vicinity of about 10 to 12 CFM uh, at around 90 to 100 pounds pressure or PSI. So you hook this in into your air attachment, a quick release. And uh, what this does is it has an on off switch right here and you simply turn it on and you go down as we're about to show you and you start creating some graphics and in essence what you're doing is you're engraving into the concrete it's fracturing the concrete and you can get some very detailed work that you could otherwise not get with a four inch grinder or even a two inch blade so an example of that would be a real tight radius an observation on this uh, tool right here kind of consider it um, treat it as a as a number two lead pencil if you push down too hard despite this being very durable you could break the tip. It's a fun tool to use. I, uh, I recommend that you experiment with it and have some fun. Like all the tools discussed, it's really important practice good safe working uh, practices. At a bare minimum, proper eye protection. Wear a mask, it will create some dust. And certainly this is a high performance tool that can be loud at times. Protect your ears. Let's show you how it's done. The WASP is a great tool to get into detailed areas, possibly where the larger engraving tools were not able to get into, but it's a great tool for uh, some freeform graphics as well. Let me show you. The variable speed Dremel is great for doing really detailed arcs or radiuses, but we primarily use the, the variable speed Dremel for terminating saw cuts up against a wall. Um, it is a good idea to find diamond tips for it. Let me show you how it works. Remember, to get the most out of your tools, use them properly, and more importantly, use them safely. I'm Bob Harris.